Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a simple badge logo in Affinity Designer. Go to File New. Select Web. Select FHD 1080p, which is Full HD 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels for the document size. Grab the Ellipse tool from the Tools panel. Hold Ctrl plus Shift and draw an ellipse that's 808 pixels by 808 pixels. Or you can go to the Transform panel and type 808 pixels in the Width and Height box. Set the fill color of the ellipse to 734528. Next, select the stroke of the ellipse. Go to the Stroke panel and set the width of the stroke to 10 points. Then fill the stroke black. With the ellipse still selected, press Ctrl plus J to make a duplicate of it. Or right click on the ellipse and select Duplicate. Now select the duplicated ellipse. Hold Ctrl plus Shift and make the ellipse smaller to 718 pixels by 718 pixels. With the duplicated ellipse selected, go to the Stroke panel and set the width to 5 points. Then set the fill color of the ellipse to 1BB125. After that, go to the bare vector link in the description. It'll take you to pixabay.com. Select Vector Graphic SVG. Then click Download. It'll then ask you to either join or log in. If you've used Pixabay before and you have a login, then log in and then download the bear. If you haven't used Pixabay before, join by either signing up using your Google or Facebook login or you can create a username and your email. It's completely free to sign up. Once you do sign up, then download the bear vector. Select Open with Affinity Designer. The bare vector will appear in a new tab in Affinity Designer. With the bare selected, go to the Swatches panel and select Black to change the fill color of the bare to black. Next, copy the bare, pressing Ctrl plus C. Then, paste the bare onto the document by pressing Ctrl plus V. Make sure you have Snapping turned on in the toolbar. Then, set the size of the bear to 477.2 pixels by 238.6 pixels in the Transform panel. After that, place the bear in the center of the green ellipse. Now, go to the Tools panel and grab the Ellipse tool. Set the ellipse to 558 pixels by 558 pixels. Get rid of the fill color and the stroke color. Grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Place the Artistic Text tool beside the blank ellipse shape until the A turns into a T with the wavy line underneath it. When this happens, click on it and type the words Black Bear. Select the text by pressing Ctrl plus A. Go to the Context toolbar and go to the font size. Next, set the size of the font to 115 points. Then, go to the Font Family. Set the font to the Gaudi Old Style font you downloaded and make it bold. With the text path still selected, press Ctrl plus J to make a duplicate of it. Hold Shift and drag the duplicate slightly down. Next, double click on the black bear text and select it. Then, type the word clothing. Once you type the text, grab the green stopper beside the word clothing. Drag the stopper down and to the right until the text is upside down on the path. After that, go to the context toolbar and select reverse text path. Then, set the baseline to 67%. Select the word clothing 
and change the font size to 110 points in the context toolbar. Now, grab the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle beneath the bear. In the layers panel, place the rectangle layer below the bear layer. With the rectangle still selected, go to the context toolbar and change the corner to round it. Then, set the percentage to 10%. Grab the ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse that's 58 pixels by 58 pixels. Place the ellipse on the left side of the bear. Then, hold Ctrl plus Shift and drag a copy of the ellipse to the right side of the bear. Make sure each ellipse is 33 pixels away from the green ellipse. Finally, select both the green and brown ellipses. Go to the Layer menu and select Expand Stroke. This converts the strokes of the ellipses to flattened shapes, which will allow the badge to be scaled better. It also separates the shape into its stroke and fill without the need of the stroke outline. And this is how you create a simple badge logo in Affinity Designer. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.